We're back. It's time for an oolong blindfold challenge. Yes. So we have TV oolong, and they're actually the same except that one is flavored and one is not. It's milk oolong, Taiwan Jin Shuan milk oolong. Flavored and unflavored. Flavored and unflavored. And in order to give it a fair assessment, we're going to do it blindfolded. See how different they are and what difference it makes. My sense is that the flavored one will be more flavorful. It's very frightening to be alone in the dark with a person who has a hot liquid. Yeah. Right. Now you'll tell me if she does something untoward, right? If she does something naughty, mention it in the comments. And I'll know too. <laughs> You'll be editing this video. There is that. <laughs> okay, so the first one is this one. Mmm, my favorite. Which will be going in this one right here. Mm. Now we have a porcelain and a clay. Clay. And that's gonna make a little bit of difference in the taste. But I will be drinking out of two Porcelain. Porcelains, which should even it out. Yes. Clay tends to dampen the taste, and porcelain's gonna make it more bright, more bitter. And then this one. But hopefully not enough to really alter things. Will be in this one. We've done some tests where we brewed the same thing in two different pots. You can check out that playlist right there. And it did make a difference. Mm -hmm. All right, this one is this one. So Are you writing it down in your head? Yep. I'm going to add just a few here. Oolong dramatically expands. It's like grape nuts. If you remember the cereal, you put a little milk on it, it gets absolutely huge. Oolong is like that too. Because you've got very tightly rolled leaves, big leaves. And it's fun to watch. So I recommend that you brew your oolong in a clear pot and watch it expand. Alright, and then I'm going to get some over here. And clay. So you know which is flavored and unflavored, but she doesn't, do you? I don't. How many fingers am I holding up? Twelve. Now how many fingers am I holding up? Sixteen. <laughs> Porcelain is... Come here. Give me your hand. <laughs> this is porcelain. This is porcelain. Mm -hmm. Am I drinking this? Yes, you're drinking this. Oh, it does smells nice. Strawberry-ish. Mm -hmm. It's a gentle flavor. All right, and put the cup back. No, no, don't put it there. There you go. And then this one is the clay. Emma wants to be a physical therapist someday. I can't smell that one. <laughs> Also strawberry-ish. Here at first blush, I can't say I can tell the difference. Well, the tea's barely opened up, so it's just a very mild flavor. Have a little bit more here. Proprioception is where you are in space. And in addition to your sense of touch, you also use your sense of vision for that and your inner ear for balance. Now, I've been robbed of my sight, so I'm having to use my ears and my hands to figure out where I am in space. And it seems I might not be very good at it. I've been blindfolded more times than she has, so I've actually gotten pretty good at it. But if you end up as a physical therapist, you will need to teach people about their proprioceptive skills. That is clay? Yeah. 
<clears throat> Still in Fusion 1, that is Ooh, that's very porcelain. Handy. Okay, so I am... This... That is still in Fusion 1. That's just the last one. It's the one on the right, and mm -hmm. it's the same one I've already had. Yes, it is clay. That tastes like pool water. It's not much. It's got a little bit of sodium taste and a little bit of strawberry aftertaste. And... Right, pool water. No, <laughs> not much. All right, now drink your other pool water. This is the porcelain pool water. <laughs> she makes it sound just groovy. <laughs> Hmm. more strawberry-ish mm -hmm. as it's beginning to open up. How the leaves look. Take the lid off and show them how the leaves are progressing. All right, so here's how the leaves in the porcelain one look, kind of like bugs. Are they getting there? Yeah, they're starting to unfurl a little bit. And then in the clay, they look like that. Clay's always been a little bit easier to tell because it's a smaller pot. When we first got it, I thought it was going to be an issue that it was so small, but I actually like this a lot better. Yes. Alright, so now we're brewing infusion two. Yeah, see I'm using my memory. And you're getting real that. close. Yeah. Alright, you wanna smell? Okay, what am I smelling? First you're going to smell the lid <laughs> that's my arm. <laughs> smell the lid of the porcelain. Not much. And then smell the lid of the clay. It's been a while since I've had oolong. Mm, that one's more strongly plant, vegetal. It's not quite seaweed. I always think that oolong tastes like seaweed, but it's not there yet. Yeah. It takes a little while to get to seaweed. Yeah. Well, you must have really, really not <clears throat> put much in there. Well, that was the lid. Oh, okay. But definitely a difference between the left one and the right one. Do you have any ideas yet on which might be which? Currently, I'm thinking that the right one is the unflavored because it's got more of a vegetal taste to it. The porcelain? The right one. Don't which ask is the porcelain? The, okay, the porcelain. <clears throat> I can't actually see them, so that doesn't mean much to me, the porcelain. I'm going to give you a little bit of each to start off. This is infusion two. Let's start with this one right here. That is the porcelain one. <clears throat> this is the left one. I know because I found the edge. There, I used my sense of closure to teach me that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Good, it's hotter now. I'm just, all I'm getting is strawberry. Oh, yeah. You getting strawberry? Mm hmm. Now you have the clay, so yours yes. is going to be much stronger than mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's way more vegetal. It is now coming toward the spinachy, seaweedy. Almost bitter. A little bit bitter. All right, I'm going to go get a notepad to communicate with our audience directly while you drink some more tea. What are you writing about me? <laughs> Is I'm she already... being nice? <laughs> they, don't, they can't see anything yet. Comment on whether she's being nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one's finally reached some body. Hmm. Much difference now. This one coming up on bitterness. This one staying less. How are they comparing in your clay? Well, they're both kind of 
similar. Can you tell a difference? Not particularly. This one is much brighter. All right, drink your tea. Well, this one is brightening. We've still got a little bit left of each, so I'm going to give you the last bits of the second infusion. Mm, that one, yeah, getting some astringency now, a little bit. And some sodium. Or minerality, I should say. Not particularly right. salty, but mineral. Try the mineral left one first. and vegetal, but not a bit animal. Hmm? Try the left one first. Try the left this one. is the very last of the second one. So the very last of cold. the second infusion. Mm. Actually, warmer. <laughs> okay, strawberry ish? Mm hmm. You get the strawberry ishness? Yeah. Does this one have something in it? Yes, that is the other one. That's the clay. Okay, this one is dampening now, actually. Like it's wearing out. Mm. And this one is wearing up. They are so similar. <laughs> really are. Okay. You ready? <laughs> what am I ready for? <laughs> the next infusion. Oh, Daddy sneezed. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's get some more tea here. Do you guys blindfold yourselves at home and try different teas? Um, <laughs> I bet some of them do. I hope not, at least if you don't have anyone else, because that could be dangerous. You remember the Pepsi challenge? Of course not. That was before you were born. Uh -huh. They used to say, okay, here's a Coke and here's a Pepsi, and which one you like better? And it really depended on who was sponsoring it. When Coke sponsored it, the Coke won. When Pepsi sponsored it, the Pepsi won. I see. Because there are ways of manipulating these things. Yes. And sometimes they give you two of the same thing. They can even ask you a leading question like, didn't you like that one? Oh, yes, I did. My solution is to not answer any questions. My teeth feel very clean. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think oolong makes your teeth feel clean. It's probably the minerality. Right, finish off your teeth. You still got some left. Is this the third? No, that's still the second one that you didn't drink. All right, now I'm going to add the new one in. This is the porcelain on the left. Drink the rest of the right, which is the clay. Nope, no, it's it's in it's in my hand. Nope, there you go. You really should try bl blindfolded drinking. But for crying out loud, put away the sharp things first. Ooh, ooh. do it with a friend, but make sure you trust your friend. All right, now try the porcelain, which is the left one. There you go. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It has reached vegetality. Mm -hmm. I made up that word, vegetality. You ever use that? Vegetability. Mm. Completely Oolong. lost the strawberryness. Yeah, the strawberry is gone. Ooh. Oolongy. All right. Ooh. Neither one of them's really giving off a creaminess. More minerality. Mm-hmm. So it's not the same? This one has been consistently more mineral the whole time. Mm-hmm. Now... Mmm... Lower, does it, lower notes. Does it taste like strawberry at all anymore? Not a bit. <laughs> well, neither does the other one, does it? No, strawberry was the overtone, and it was sharp. It was more strawberryish than this one. And then this one became more mineral and more vegetal. Mm -hmm. Well, the leaves one, have opened up. The le Oh, did, have you showed them? 
Nope, I will show them after this infusion. Okay. All right. Is this number four? Yes, this is number four of infusions. -es. My precious infusions. -es. What's in its pots? <laughs> She's very good at deadpan delivery. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have a dry sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people think I'm serious. Sometimes you are. Mm. Serious is best delivered with humor. But if you're telling someone that they're dying, please don't say funny joke here because that's not going to go well. Something happened on the way to the cemetery. Mm. I never tell people they're dying. Right. It's not really my role. No. Hello, so nice to meet you. You're dying. You teach them to speak so they can say, No, I can't. Okay. Drink your tea. Left one's porcelain. Hmm. The milkiness has arrived. Hmm. On number four it took. Hmm. Milk oolong. The point is that it's supposed to taste creamy and milky. As if you had put milk in it, but you didn't. And then flavored <laughs> milk oolong. I think they actually do put powdered milk or something in mm. it. Well, let me see here. The ingredient mm. in milk oolong tea flavored is tea buds and leaves milk flavor. Mm. No telling what that could be. Like that cream stuff we have. Mm. Now that is, in fact, dehydrated cream. Like this one has cream we had. more of the milkiness, creaminess. And the strawberry's back. All right. This one's staying more oolongy. We're going to do a final infusion. Mm. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> How well she knows me not. Mmm, <laughs> strawberry-ish. Tastes strawberry-ish. Vegetal. Sort of spinachy. How are you doing over there? How does your left one taste? Spinach. How does your right one taste? Also spinach. They taste the same? Yeah. So evidently the clay cancels out the effect. I'm going to say... This is the flavored one, mm -hmm. and this is the unflavored one, mm -hmm. based on the fact that this one is more oolongy. All right, take your blindfold off. Now I'm going to have a red mark, and how did I do? Well, I'm going to reveal to you what I wrote to our audience first. Okay. I'm going to give her two cups of one tea and see if she can tell the difference. You failed. So they were both the same? The middle two infusions were the exact same tea. The first two were different. The third was clay. Sorry. The third was porcelain. Fourth was clay. Fifth was both. Well, I was going on continuity there, but I did notice when they changed because I remarked. Mm -hmm. But I was not expecting trickery. So in the initial, yes, when I told you that this was flavored and this was unflavored. Was I right? Yes. See? This is flavored. I want this you to know not. my analysis was correct. I had incorrect information. But I did not fail. I All failed right, to one, realize you were lying to me. One, two, and five were... Um, all different. But you will recall that I noticed that three or four. Right. It suddenly got what more strawberry ish. Well, you said that first it was more strawberry ish because it was this one. And then you said it was deeper because it was this one. And then you said that they started tasting a little bit different again. Mm -hmm. So I knew. Mm -hmm. That but... was the goal, to see if you could figure out whether I was subtly changing it or not. But I did not expect trickery. 
which is shocking considering she allowed me to do this. Don't mess with your mother. We have ways of getting you back. All right, so what should they buy? Which one? Um, well, it's like you said, this one is more vegetal, spinachy -ness. Um, authentic. And then this one is the more milk, um, sort of thing. Not that much more. It's just, it's almost like a strawberry milk versus normal milk. Yeah, it, it really wasn't so much that it added a creaminess as that it was added a strawberryness. I personally, mm -hmm. I'm always going to go for a less flavored thing, so I'm going to go for the unflavored. Although that strawberry oolong that we had was the least strawberry of all the oolongs we've ever tried. Hmm. But you get to pick whichever one, or you can buy both. Try them blindfolded and tell us what you found. And until we see you again... Make sure to make time for teeny good book. Blindfolded. <laughs>